Yo, what is up YouTube? We are back again with another zombie video for you guys and in this video today we're going to be testing out the Rampage Inducer to see how quick of XP we can get while using it in round based zombie maps and it's safe to say the results are most likely going to surprise you. Let's get right into it. If you guys are not already subscribed feel free to hit the subscribe button because i post zombies tips tricks and guides every single week and you do not want to miss it also you can follow me on twitter or join the discord links to those will be in the description below all right so quick recap if you don't already know in season 5 reloaded shrek introduced the rampage inducer into all round based zombie maps now what this does is once it's activated at round 1 through 20 whenever you decide to activate it it'll cause all the zombies to become super sprinters and cut down the time in between rounds now Treyarch thought they were just going to drop this update for us round based players to keep us satisfied until season six but little did they realize i was going to come in right behind them and show everybody their secret they thought they were going to hide from us because as some of you might already know i've been breaking down everything i mean everything about weapon xp when it comes to cold war zombies i already went into round based zombies and broke down everything there was to know about weapon xp in there i went into outbreak to break down all the weapon xp variants in there and i even compared it to and here we are in the final video to see if the rampage inducer is the fastest weapon xp and if y'all have not seen either of those two videos, I was generous enough to put the link to those in the description below that you can watch after this video. Okay, so first things first, in order to test to see if we get faster or slower weapon XP, we need to figure out do we get more weapon XP per round with Rampage Inducer active or without. So I've already taken a level one weapon to round five and I've already killed the whole round off. So I've already got that data collected for how much XP I get per round. So I then loaded into a fresh game of Firebase C with a level 1 weapon and I bought another weapon off the wall so I didn't have to worry about getting that main level 1 weapon, any weapon XP, until round 5. Then I immediately activated a Rampage Inducer, I killed all the zombies up until round 5, then I pulled out my level 1 weapon, I killed off the whole round. Now hold on, before I show you guys the results, I want to show you guys that I put a poll out asking you guys what gives faster weapon XP. Now out of 454 of you guys who voted, 91% of you guys said weapon XP is faster with the Rampage Inducer. But 9% of you guys said it's actually faster without. Now that sounds reasonable, I mean think about it, zombies spawn faster, they run at you faster, you kill them faster, you get faster XP. I mean, theoretically speaking, it should work that way. But also keep in mind, this was given to us by the same people who buffed Deadwire and then nerfed it several times straight into the ground, only to buff Shatter Blast to comment back and say the game is well balanced. Okay, so that brings us here to this. This is what the amount of weapon XP I got on a fresh level one completing round five without Rampage Inducer activated. Now this is the amount of weapon XP I got completing round five completely with a fresh level one weapon with Rampage Inducer activated. Now, I'm not going to lie, in some of my other videos, there have been some instances where I did receive slight variations in the amount of weapon XP I was getting running them through the exact same test. So to alleviate this doubt, I know for certain that weapons of the same class get the same amount of XP. So I took these two assault rifles, which as you can see, they are almost 100% identical in the amount of weapon XP they have at level 5. I took them both through round 1 and round 3 with no changes, nothing different the way I went through the rounds, and they pretty much have the exact same XP on the outcome. So I then took these two exact same weapons, got them to a fresh level 6. So instead of like before where I take them to round 5 and only run them through round 5, I'm going to take them to round 1 and I'm going to run 1 strictly through round 1, 2, 3 without the Rampage Inducer and then the other one rounds 1 through 3 with the Rampage Inducer. Because at least now, knowing that these weapons get the same amount of weapon XP per round, I can confidently know the outcome of whatever these have on them. So after it's all said and done, you can see the weapon XP we got without the Rampage Inducer activated. And then you can see the weapon XP we got with the Rampage Inducer activated. I mean... That is literally a 50% reduction. If we draw a line and then double the weapon XP, 
they are exactly identical. Treyarch did us really dirty with this one, literally cutting the amount of weapon XP you get when it's activated in half. But that's not the end of this test because I know a lot of you guys are yelling at me right now like, dude, the zombies are spawning in quicker. You're getting quicker kills. You're getting faster XP. Well, let's test that out. So this test is going to be all about time. So I'm going to spawn in with a custom loadout and I'm going to run the penthouse strat on this. I'm going to pack a bunch of my weapon, but for the majority of the time, I'm just going to camp up there and kill the zombies and go for headshots. Now this strategy without the rampage inducer was pretty laid back. I just sat up there, grinded out my headshots. Once I had enough points, I turned the power on, pack a punch my weapon, made my way back up top and just continued to grind it out. It was pretty laid back and I actually enjoyed it. Now I got all the way to round 20 and went ahead and finished it up going to round 21. I did all of that in 23 minutes and 40 seconds. Now we loaded into another fresh match with the same loadout and I went straight for that rampage inducer with one goal in mind and that was to stay alive. And just like before I made my way straight to the penthouse so I could just hold out up there for a couple rounds, rack up some points and then go turn on the power and pack a punch. But going through this I thought after activating the rampage inducer and staying in the penthouse i thought it was going to be a really sweaty game where i'd be fighting to stay alive i'd have to clutch up numerous times but surprisingly it was pretty laid back like i just chilled up there and uh just kept getting headshots I, it was easier than i thought it was gonna be but after gliding through all of those rounds i finally finished round 20 at 17 minutes and four seconds now that is roughly a 25% difference in time comparing with the Rampage Inducer and without the Rampage Inducer. But the amount of weapon XP we're getting is a 50% difference. And I don't consider myself an expert at math, but that means we are losing 25% weapon XP on average when we're activating the Rampage Inducer. So that pretty much brings us to this is not an ideal thing to activate with the intentions of getting more weapon XP because we're actually losing it. Now was Treyarch wrong for doing this? It's, it's pretty debatable, but in my opinion, I think it was wrong because when you activate that Rampage Inducer, it brings zombies to a whole new level because they are super spinners, they hit faster, and you can get knocked down a lot quicker. So in my own opinion, I believe you should get rewarded greatly for being able to go through those rounds. Because most of the time, Treyarch has a tendency to nerfing or capping things to prevent people from abusing it. But this does stop at round 20, so that pretty much eliminates the chances of anyone finding a way to abuse this. Because most of the time, Treyarch has a tendency to nerfing or capping things to prevent people from abusing it. But this does stop at round 20, so that pretty much eliminates the chances of anyone finding a way to abuse this. If anything, we should get a 50% increase in weapon XP for going through those rounds with the Rampage Inducer activated. But y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.